Now, my brother Emmanuel and what was her name, sister? Elizabeth. What's your nationality? You say it again. Puerto Rican and Ecuadorian. What about you? Hispanic. Hispanic. So I want to try on this sign right here. I'm gonna look at this sign. The names on the right, what would y'all find yourself at? Well, what y'all just said, the name, look at the name on the left. Look at the name on the right, identify what you, what you just said, and tell me what, what tribe it is that's on the left. Ephraim? Yep, so you would be from the tribe of Ephraim. What about you, my sister? The second from the bottom. The second from the bottom. Uh, Natalie. So, give me Deuteronomy 28. 28 and 15. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because this Bible, even though we look di we look different as far as skin complexion, we the same people. Bring it out. We are the same people. Right. Even though in, in, in communities across America, in Indianapolis, a lot of times what you see is um, our Hispanic brothers and sisters, even our, even our, we fighting and warring against each other. Like, like as if we different people. You got Latin kings and you got all these different gangs and things like that and we warring against one another, but we the same people. That's right. And how do we know that? The Bible is gonna show us how we are the same people because we, we went through the, we go through the same troubles, the same problems. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, are y'all familiar with the Bible? Not, not much? Do you, I know you, who, who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Moses. You're not sure? Who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Moses. My brother, my brother, what's your name, brother? Elder Hampton. Hampton? Elder Hampton. Elder Hampton? Okay. So, Let's get Deuteronomy 1 and 1, because I want to show you, because he said Moses. I want to show y'all that the Bible, that Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy. Let's see who he wrote it to. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses, when he wrote the book of Deuteronomy, he wrote it to the children of Israel. So this is, this is specific to Israel. So read 28 and 15 again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he says, but it shall come to pass. We know that Moses wrote this over two, three thousand years ago. But he's saying right now when he wrote it, he's speaking of something that's going to happen in the future. Because he said, it shall come to pass if thou, that thou is Israel. And right now, today, we know Israel as the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who says, if thou shall not. Read it again. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What does it mean? What does hearken mean? Listen. Listen. My brother Emmanuel, what does the word hearken mean? Huh? The hearken means to listen. Listen attentively. Give me one second. I want to show you. I, would, I know you probably got to go. Give me one moment. Let me re finish this up. So it says, if, they, if you will not listen attentively to the word, voice of the words of God, read. To observe. To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he says, if you won't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, it says all these curses will come upon the children of Israel. What is a curse? A form of punishment. That's, cr that's true. A curse is a bad thing. It's a form of punishment. So let's see. So what some of these curses was. Go to ju jump to uh, 30, New York 48. Jump to 48. Because you said you was Puerto Rican and you said Hispanic. Now you, uh, Naftali. Naftali. Read. Argentina, Chile. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So the Bible says, one of these curses, it says he's going to bring a nation against thee, against the children of Israel from far. So Puerto Rico was here. There was so there was so-called Puerto Ricans on the land of Puerto Rico. Do you know anything of the hist about the history of Puerto Rico? Not really. Do you know anything about the history 
of Argentina, Chile. You heard, you ever heard, y'all know of Columbus? That's more a more popular name. Y'all have heard have y'all ever heard of Hernan Cortez? So, but I I'll, I'll, I'll stick with Ponce de Leon. So those are different names we we don't hear commonly. So I will stick with Columbus because he had a part to play with it. He went he, he conquered a different land, but it's the same thing. He said, read that again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So he said he's gonna bring a nation against thee from far. What is what did, what is Columbus known for? What is Christopher Columbus known for? Finding and you and you you know you know it's you know that's false because you, you did the quotations. You said finding America. So he's known for coming over here, and we're gonna speak it true. He coming over, he known for coming over here and conquering this land. But so re read it again. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. That's part of the curse. It said, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Columbus came over from over there on Europe, and he tra traveled over here. And bless believe, he knew those people over here when he came over here. He wasn't just coming over here casually. He just wasn't, wasn't sailing on the ship, and he ran into the land. He knew that it was land over here, and he knew who was over here in that land. If you watch a movie called 1492, it has a scene in there which, that shows that he knew. He knew the Bible, and he knew that we were over here. He knew what he was doing. But this is why. Read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So what we have to understand that that was the working of the Lord because when y'all when when y'all forefathers was over here, when our forefathers was over here in this land, they were doing they was doing all type of wickedness and abominations. They were going against God's commandments. So this is part of the commercial when you when you curses when you break God's commandments. The, he said he gonna bring a curse upon you. So the Most High sent a nation over here against our Hispanic brothers and sisters because they were over here in, in the midst of idolatry, serving gods, sacrificing each other, doing all type of wickedness. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. And it says, as swift as the eagle flyeth. As swift as the eagle flyeth. Where is saying that? Right here. So Columbus, what was he, Spaniard? So Read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. So who who used the eagle as they symbol, as it as it relates to nations? Huh? The U.S. is one, and then look at here. Hey, some cause somebody come hold this sign. So when you look at this, the Bible read it. Read it one more time. What's what's your name, my brother? Rakim, what's your name, my brother? Antosh. Antosh. Okay. Y'all if y'all familiar with the Bible? A little bit. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We are the Israelites. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what we're going through right now. We're going through some of the things that prove that we are the Israelites. Read uh verse 46 real quick. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So just to bring y'all up to see speed, because y'all just walked up. It says, and they shall be upon thee. That day, when we read in verse, we read in verse 15, it says, when when the Israelites broke God's commandments, that he was gonna send curses upon them. Bad things. He meaning he was gonna punish them. One second, y'all. I want y'all one moment, one moment, one moment. One, let me let me finish this. Let me finish this. I want y'all, I see y'all gotta go. Let me finish this real quick. Read. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. That nation that was brought against us was Christopher Columbus. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. When he came over here, he, he conquered. He killed, murdered, raped, robbed. They took. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And when he came over here, you best believe y'all wasn't speaking Spanish. Y'all was not speaking Spanish. They beat that language. They beat the real, what, the real language out of y'all, which was y'all was over here speaking Hebrew. They beat that out of y'all and, and taught y'all Spanish. Y'all learned Spanish from Christopher Columbus, Ponce de Leon, Hernan Cortez. And this, remember, it says, he's going to bring a nation against thee from far as swift as the eagle flies. We already said, we already established that America uses that, 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 um, that symbol. You had the Greeks, the Romans, the Spanish. Who, which, who came over here and conquered this land, and America. All these nations used that eagle. Who, who are those, na who, what nation of people ruled these different uh, kingdoms? Who was, who, was the, who was the Greeks? 
that was ruling in the kingdom, the so-called white man. Who was the Romans? The so-called white man. The Spanish, the so-called white man. White man. The American, the so-called white man. So the people that came over here and conquered this land was the so-called white man. And best believe, he knew that y'all were over. He knew that, he knew that who was over here because he knew the Bible. You can put that down. He knew the Bible. So that's one of the curses that show that you are the Israelites. So our information is on that flyer. Don't let this go on deaf. And this, this information that I just brought out to y'all, it's on that flyer as well. You are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.